Hello dancers! Today's story is Frozen. Not long ago in the kingdom of Arendelle, summer had arrived. But it was winter inside the castle where Princesses Elsa and Anna were playing. Elsa had magical powers and could create things out of snow and ice. She made a snowman named Olaf. Anna was delighted. Then Elsa accidentally hurt Anna. The king and queen rushed both girls to the mystical trolls in the mountains. The trolls cured Anna by changing her memories of Elsa's magic. They cautioned that others would fear Elsa's power, so to help her control it, Elsa's parents gave her gloves. With the castle gates closed, Elsa stayed away from Anna. She never wanted to hurt her again. But Elsa missed Anna, and Anna missed Elsa. Years later, the king and queen were lost at sea. Without their parents, both princesses grew lonelier and lonelier. Soon it was time for Elsa to be queen. She was terrified that without her gloves, she might lose control of her powers in front of everyone. Anna, on the other hand, was excited to meet new people, especially a prince named Hans. They fell in love. Elsa gathered all her courage to take off her gloves and was successfully crowned the Queen of Arendelle. With her gloves back on, Elsa proudly stood before her people. But when Anna told Elsa that she wanted to marry Hans, Elsa forbid it. How could Anna want to marry a man she just met? Frustrated, Anna tried to stop her sister and accidentally pulled off a glove. Without her glove, ice and snow blasted from her hands, covering the kingdom. Fearing she might hurt someone, Elsa fled. Anna thought it was her fault Elsa's powers had been revealed. She rushed off to find her sister. She hired a mountain man named Kristoff to be her guide. In time, Anna and Kristoff found a snowman named Olaf. He was alive. Anna remembered him and the good times she shared with her sister. Olaf led the way to Elsa. Meanwhile, Elsa was enjoying her time alone. Now she was free to create whatever she wanted. She built an ice palace. Anna begged Elsa to come home to thaw her frozen kingdom, but Elsa feared she couldn't control her powers. Angry and afraid, Elsa accidentally cast a magic freezing spell on her sister and then created a giant snowman. Anna and Kristoff ran. Olaf ran too. Anna's hair began to turn white. Kristoff led her to the trolls for help. The trolls advised, only an act of true love can thaw a frozen heart. Anna needed Hans for true love's kiss. Quickly, Kristoff and Anna headed back to Arendelle. When Anna found Hans, he refused to kiss her. His plan all along had been to take over the kingdom. Anna was crushed. Anna realized that Kristoff loved her and she needed all her strength to find him. Meanwhile, Elsa had returned to Arendelle to save her kingdom, but now she was in terrible danger. When Anna saw Hans, she knew what she had to do. Anna saved Elsa. It was an act of true love, true love between two sisters. Soon the ice melted and Anna realized she was in love with Kristoff. As for Elsa, she became queen, a good queen who learned from her sister that love was the key to controlling her powers. Oh, I love that book. I hope you have a great rest of camp.